That's a beautiful blue right there. I'm gonna talk about a pretty important topic. Doesn't matter if you're looking at it through a safety perspective, uh, coolness perspective, you know, what gets people's heads turning. It honestly doesn't matter. The one thing that I'm gonna talk about today is exhausts. Now that might be going as far as putting a whole exhaust system on your motorcycle. Or just putting a slip-on on it. Now in my case, I just have a slip-on. I don't have a full exhaust system. You know, I don't have... I don't have the necessary uh, desire to be going on and putting a whole new exhaust system on this bike. You know, maybe if I get a newer one, but this one's a 2001. I mean, I could I could probably, like, do stuff to it, but I don't know. I'd just rather do it to something newer. But honestly, an exhaust is one of the most important things on a motorcycle. Whether you be customizing it, doing it for safety, like I said before, because I mean, of course you want it to be loud because you know it turns people's heads, right? Now that's where the safety part comes in. If people can't see you, you know, you want to make sure that they can hear you. You know, that just adds a little another another factor to their senses that they could somehow pinpoint where you are. You know, because if you're in their blind spot and they can still hear you, they know that you're in their blind spot. So I mean, it is it does help a little bit with safety. I mean, not as much as, you know, driving safe, making sure you're going reasonable enough so people around you know where you are. And of course, I needed a loud exhaust because I'm a 19-year-old guy, you know? What 19-year-old guy wouldn't want a loud exhaust? The kind of exhaust that I have on my motorcycle. It's an 8-inch, 200-millimeter Delkovic slip-on exhaust. And I believe the guy that I bought this bike of off of just did the slip on I don't I don't believe he did any work with the actual exhaust now here is actually what it sounds like so my bike is warm right now so of course there's gonna be a lot less crackles and pops going through there because it's actually warm now but I mean for what you guys can hear through my mic it really isn't that much I mean I have this blocking the hole underneath my helmet the mics up inside my helmet so it pretty much distorts the sound you can't really hear the full sound of my motorcycle that pretty much comes with any kind of motor vlogger. They, they can't really hear it that well. Because of all the factors that play into, you know, how far the mic away is. We're in front of it, so of course the exhaust shoots back. So you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about. So I got the GoPro right there. Exhaust. As you guys can see, it's Delcovic exhaust. It's, it looks pretty nice, you know. I mean, this pipe looks pretty new, so I don't, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it's just a slip-on. See, now when I'm down in the lower RPMs, like this, it sounds poppy. When I get up into like six, 7,000 RPMs and higher, it does get really throaty sound. Almost like, if you think about it, like a sports car, like a Corvette or something like that. But you know, when I'm at a sandstone and neutral and I pull this throttle, it sounds amazing. But alright, here we go, you ready? And that's just a little twist of the throttle. I'm not even doing a quarter turn, I'm just going <laughs> This is a tad little turn So yeah guys, that's what my, my exhaust sounds like Like I said before, it's a Delkovic 8 inch, 200 millimeter slip on exhaust I'm riding on a Suzuki 2001 600 GSXR So you know, if you have this kind of bike and you're looking for something that that sounds pretty good or looking for that sound in general you know, definitely look into it. Well, hello there, hot stuff. That was my my fans kicking on because my my bike's air cooled, and it was getting up past that temperature to where it, it automatically kicks them on. Now, obviously, if you get a different bike for mine and you still get the same slip-on exhaust, it's gonna be a little bit different sounding because obviously the motor's gonna be different. You know, there might be different components, different shapes throughout, and that would create a different sound. You know. So that's why I suggest if you're going for a specific sound, you know, do a lot of research, you know, look at videos and all that stuff. See what exhaust you like the best, or like what setup for the exhaust system, engine build, everything. Make sure that you get the sound that you want. So if you guys like the video, be sure to hit the thumbs up. If you've been here for a while, thanks for tuning in again. If you're new, welcome. And if you want to, be sure to hit that subscribe button, you know, join the DK family. And as always, thank you for watching. Peace out.